LeBron's a free agent. The sky is falling. For days leading up to the free agency, no, for years, for weeks, even before the final debacle versus Spurs, all we heard was the best case scenario for the Miami Heat was all three guys, yes, the big three. Chris Bosh, Dwayne Wade, and LeBron James opting out. Because you know why? That allowed the Miami Heat to sit down, Pat Riley specifically, with those guys, and work out a plan. See if they were all in, see what they wanted to do, talk about contracts, and give some money, to get some money, so you, they can go out and get guys. Yes, Nick Harrison probably would have to go in the luxury tax to prove that he was serious. But they also would have to take less money, so there was more for other guys. The final debacle just showed how much that was necessary. After the final debacle, LeBron James said, and I, I, I'm, not, I'm paraphrasing here, said he will go on the vacation, he will talk to his team, then he will talk to his guys and Wayne Bosch, and then he will talk to Riley. What's different now? I, I love that LeBron James opts out and the world changes. Everyone says the Heat is the best place for him. The Heat with the other two guys is where he wanted to play. They've been to four straight finals. They won two titles. And they can work out the most money of any team because they can pay them the most and they can work out together a plan. But the minute he opts out, oh my God, he's leaving. Oh yeah, he may stay with the Heat. Oh yeah, Chris Boussard, the guy we haven't heard his name in the last four years since his team got together. He's fallen off the face of the earth when it comes to the ESPN, is now the leading man on LeBron. It's 55% chance he stays. Really, Chris? Because Cleveland worked out so well. You know, that's the place you think is the front runner. They've Kyrie Irving, who hates it there, a coach no one's heard of, and a team who's botched every draft pick. But Kyrie Irving, who's the who wants to leave? The Clippers, another great scenario. They have no money, they have no room, and right now no one's taking their players. Or well, in the Rockets, I love how I hear this, where well, the Rockets can have the best conglomerate of talent. How the hell can they afford Harden Max? Howard Max and LeBron Max. Please tell me. So, I love the many things happen. Everything changed. No, nothing changed. Miami's the best destination. He's one here. His family's here. And he's happy here. So, the world, before you jump out of buildings, take a deep breath. Because right now, LeBron's home is still Miami. This is the Luke Dude.